ooh, ooh, let's come on guys we can't resist this welcome right? back to the we can't resist this right yeah no i've, I've, I've lost it oh, i mean you Kesbox, you did not see the first two videos we went through. I, I came into this in good faith, actually. I tried to, like, debunk the first video because I thought this was a serious channel. Oh, no way. This is as, this this channel is straight off the rails. They're, like, straight up into the David Icke shit. This is so, it's so amazing. This is almost, like, as bad. It's almost spirit science shit. Seriously. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Tono no Aji. That's the shit that I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get into this. Here we go. Let's watch this one. This is a fresh one. Keep in mind, all of you, all of you who are new here, thank you all for being here. Thank you for coming in the Chud Raid. And and feast your eyes on a brand new, fresh content. I've never seen this shit before. I'm fresh to this channel. It's making me lose my mind in real time. So here we go. The Truth Factory. The climate is changing. And okay. it has been for billions of years. I would actually be far more worried okay. if the climate stopped changing. I think that everyone could agree with that. The point of contention in this climate debate is the reality, magnitude, causes, and consequences of climate change and how much of that, if any, is actually caused by human actions. Obviously, this is going to be different than my other videos, but since this topic has become highly politicized and a major voting issue, I thought it was only- Hey, now they're just doing conservative- now they're just doing creationist cats bit. So they tried to steal from Fuentes. They tried to steal from Black Pigeon Speaks. And now they're just copying Creationist Cat? Do they not realize that Creationist Cat is sat satire? I guess that's always a risk with good satire, right? Fair to present a contrarian perspective on this topic that will then be picked up by YouTube's algorithms and buried... Good one. Good one. Haha. -ha. Get it? Al Gore, get it? Al Gore was, remember, remember Al Gore? He was a politician that was popular and he talked about climate change like 20 fucking years ago. Whew, man, that's a relevant reference. I, 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 I rest my case, boomer shit. Somewhere deep within the cockles of the internet, Whew. along with my other politically incorrect videos. And before you say, mm, truth cat, you have no authority to talk on the subject because you're not a climate scientist. Neither is Al Gore, Leonardo DiCaprio, Greta Thunberg, Bill Nye, nor any of these people. I don't know. Let's just let's just take a minute. How many people in chat would trust Bill Nye over this freaky cat? I don't know. I, I think that the cat is the cat who believes in Donald Trump time machine, uh time travel, uh Donald Trump. Uh, Mike Pence double cloning uh, multiple Mike Pence's. Uh, Tim Kaine is married to a clone of Mike Pence. Um, definitely has better ideas about the reality of fucking, uh, you know, global climate change than, I don't know, Al Gore or Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Bill Nye the same. <laughs> so I figured a talking. Did I miss something? Did I miss? I mean,. Did I miss something? Sorry, did I did I miss something? Unberg, Bill Nye, or any of these people. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What? What? What is that? What is going on? What does that have to do with anything? What does any of this have to do with anything? I figured a talking cat might as well weigh in on this too. The main focus of climate science today is specifically on carbon dioxide created by the burning of fossil fuels. Since Al Gore became a multi-millionaire peddling climate doomsday predictions, the idea that CO2 is an evil toxin has been forced into our ear holes along with the idea that if something- I mean, that's literally not what they say. Literally no one says that CO2 is an evil toxin. Just that we put out so much CO2 because we burn so much carbon that it's actually causing issues. Not that CO2 is some like fucking toxin that needs to be purged from the earth. In fact, literally, it's 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 a fucking what is it? Like a trace a trace element. It's just that its presence can do more damage. Like this is so silly. Thing is it done yeah, about literally. it immediately. This is it's th th they literally just did the thing that everybody talks about. The the vaguely gesturing fascist thing, you know, conservatives vaguely gesturing at hypocrisy. That's what they, they just did that. It's like well, Al Gore, he spoke against the, uh, he spoke against 
the climate climate change. He spoke out against climate change, and yet he made money at a time talking at a speech about climate change. Okay. Did he say anything incorrect? Did he lie? Or are you just vaguely gesturing? It's so All stupid. Life on Earth will cease to exist or will live in some sort of apocalyptic Mad Max scenario. And while some Chicken Littles seem to get off on this sort of doomsday porn, CO2 is not the boogeyman. I'm sorry, but this cat telling anybody, like, impugning anyone for getting off on doomsday porn after they run a channel where they basically just jerk off all over Donald Trump's head all day, every single day, all of their videos, all of the videos we've watched so far have just gone, they've been like, ha ha, meme magic, Donald Trump is so funny, he's so funny, and they've literally been just screaming in your face about how funny and cool Donald Trump is while posting pictures of him going, and like, and then that's it. That's just the end of it. They're like, wow, he, Donald Trump uses meme magic to own the libs. But yeah, oh yeah, uh, go ahead and impugn people for fucking uh, doomsday porn. What? Yes, literally, yes, Marinara. In the last video, the fucking Hillary nuclear timeline is literal doomsday porn. It's literally like Hillary Clinton is so bad that she will make the, the earth turn into T Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I just had to get rid of somebody out of chat there. <clears throat> oh, yes. Oh, did, was it me? Did I cite a gamer as a credible source? I, I think gamers are credible. The sky is not falling, and we are not experiencing a climate emergency. Yes, we are, by the way. Just, just, so, just in case nobody was on board with that, we are facing a climate emergency, actually. Yes. But let's start with the very basics that I think everyone can agree on. Visible light energy from our sun travels through our atmosphere. Okay, yeah. The earth and our oceans absorb that energy. The okay. ground is warmed and then it releases some of that heat in the form of infrared radiation back into the atmosphere in order to all cool right. itself. Yeah, all right, all right. And then greenhouse gases trap some of this heat like a lid on a pot. While greenhouse gases get a bad rep, or a balloon, without or... them earth would be an ice ball and- Are you for real? Okay, guys, I know I don't know if you knew this. I didn't I don't know if you knew this, but humans humans have to drink water. Um and if but if you if you bury a human in water, if you bury them under the sea, they will drown. <gasps> Did you know that? Did you know that humans have to drink curious, isn't it? It's curious. Curious that humans supposedly need water. Yet if you put a human at the bottom of the ocean, they will die. Weird, huh? Oh, how random and strange. How can... Ooh, what a coincidence. Almost like substances in different levels have different effects. <gasps> I know. Life as we it's know so it hard to believe. wouldn't exist. And CO2 sorry, is an this especially is, this is important driving me nuts. greenhouse gas that has existed in Earth's atmosphere long before mankind graced this planet. Well, they're breaking out the big facts. Get this, everyone. Gases existed before humans existed. Wow. <laughs> Despite the mass hysteria around it, CO2 is not a toxin. It's essential for all life on Earth. Of course, yeah, just you... like just like water. Why don't you why don't you why don't you bury yourself at the why don't you why don't you swim down to the bottom of the ocean and take a nice big gulp? Huh? Oh, is it because water can be very toxic in high amounts? Oh, oh no, no. It's because water is an essential part of life. Breathe only CO2, you'll die. But the same could be said about water. Some Oh. Wait, wait a minute. No! Something also naturally occurring, essential for all life, and just happens to make up 95% of all greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. So while it's true that CO2 has taken a sharp increase over the past four- Did they just- They just re- They just did my argument, but got it wrong. They just did my argument and got it wrong. What the fuck? 40 years- this is what it looks like compared to all other gases in our atmosphere. CO2 makes up only 400 parts. Yes, imagine that. Imagine, imagine if a gas had a certain type of interaction that, that even if it was in small amounts, it could increase the heat of the planet. Imagine. Parts per million. I know. Or 0, 0.0. Yes, I am. I, yes, Atono no Aji, you heard it here first. Demon Mama, me, 
I am actually a Mike Pence clone from the future, and I'm trying to warn you. You see, I'm back here trying to discredit, cre uh, I almost said creationist cat. I'm back here um, trying to discredit conspiracy cat, because if conspiracy cat becomes popular, they will reveal that I am a Mike Pence clone. Duh. Duh. What the fuck? Obviously. Obviously, I'm a Mike Pence clone. Why else would I be trying to discredit conspiracy cat? Unless I didn't want you to believe that Mike Pence and Donald Trump and Barron Trump were time travelers and went back in time to plant me in the past in the I mean in the now to discredit the to discredit to discredit the theory so that the future wouldn't be undone. Oh yeah, she said um okay, my name now is um is is Truth Mama. Uh everything I say is true and you should believe me without question. Um and do whatever I say. Like um you should like and subscribe and donate money to me. Um because I'm truth. It's truth, truth mama. You have to I speak only the truth. It is it is good for you to do those things. 0.4% of Earth's atmosphere and human activity makes up only 3.5% of all CO2 emitted each year with the rest occurring naturally. Okay. Theoretically, the amount of man-made, otherwise known as anthropogenic CO2 in the atmosphere has only prevented the Earth from cooling itself by about 1%. That doesn't- Which is a big deal when you're talking about a fucking planet. Planets are big. I don't know if you knew this cat, but planets are fucking big. It mean that this increase in CO2 can't have any effect, but it also doesn't oh. necessarily mean it's responsible for astronomical warming or that it's even a bad thing. In fact, our current CO2 levels and temperatures are actually very low when compared to the vast majority. Planets are actually actually incredibly tiny. We don't live on a planet. We live on a um a piece of a very large uh, we actually live on a very large turtle held up by multiple elephants. Party of Earth's yeah, history. Yeah, I know, right? With the notable exception of 300 million years ago during the late Carboniferous period, which closely resembles our Here's a question. Do you think this cat do you think this cat person is actually a creationist? Do you think that they're a creationist or or what? Current climate. And just like today, this was in a period of major cooling. At this time, atmospheric CO2 dipped down to around 350 to 400 parts per million as carbon was sucked into the earth. This is ironically responsible for the formation of coal that we burn today that releases some of that CO2 back into the atmosphere. Climate alarmists say that okay. it's imperative that we lower our current atmospheric CO2 and cool the Earth, even though we know from the end of this period as CO2 concentrations continue to drop, so did plant diversity, and Earth was only inches away from being locked. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's almost like, um, it's almost like, uh, humans matter, not just plants. It's almost like, you know, mm, the Earth... A, 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 a earth that is incredibly warm and flooded with water might be okay for algae and plants and mushrooms, but might not be able to sustain human life anymore. That's kind of the fucking point. That's kind of the fucking point, right? Into a snowball state, killing almost <laughs> everything on it. But how dare you, or whatever. The earth was only spared from... I, I also love, I also love that the moment that Greta Thunberg made a speech that was actually like, I mean, a moving speech, to be fair. Uh, th literally every single fucking conservative from uh, adult man, uh, Dave Rubin, to adult woman, Kat, uh, to fucking War Corp 666, all were just like, we, yes, it is our moral imperative to attack a 13-year-old climate activist. We must make fun of her and everything. Steven Crowder even fucking did a weird pedo joke about, about Greta Thunberg. I don't know. Becoming that's just that's just so fucking weird. What is it with conservatives and f targeting fucking little girls? It's so fucking weird. A popsicle by lucky natural occurrences, including ah! the appearance of termites, ah, termites! still to this day are responsible for about 2% of Sorry. all CO2 in our atmosphere. So what happens if okay. Earth continues to warm and CO2 continues to rise? Well, we have proxies that go back hundreds of millions of years. Proxies are Hundreds of millions of years before humans existed. Remember that? Remember when humans didn't exist? And remember like bugs were like this big and shit? And, and, and uh, dinosaurs had to be like fucking huge to even sustain their life because of the, uh, the, the, the different mix of the oxygen? It's almost like uh, on a planetary level, a small change in gases 
can lead to an entirely different environment. You know, just saying, just saying. There are indirect ways yeah, they have of tiny measuring decks. climate Absolutely. and atmosphere using natural recorders like ice cores, tree rings, and fossils. Now, these certainly don't give us an exact number, and I wouldn't exactly call them hard science, but they give us an approximation of Earth's past climate conditions, kind of like looking at chapters in Earth's history rather than individual pages. And when we look at these proxies stemming is... back millions of years, it makes our current climate change look far less alarming. We can so this estimate is just old that school. during the So they're like, this is like, this is a pr relatively new video, right? This is like, yeah, this video came out at the end of last year. This is a relatively new video. I am not kidding you. I heard these exact same stupid ass arguments in the 90s. Kesbox, go rest well. Much love. Mwah. Thank you for coming by explosions, CO2 levels were up to 17 times higher at about 7,000 parts per million. And this was considered the Rest advent well. of modern life. These high temperatures and CO2 levels were essential for the creation of many major groups of animals. Mm. Do you want to know what creatures looked like in the Cambrian period? Let's take a look. Hmm. Ah, oh, sick. Oh, sick. Yeah, let's, let's, it's Cambrian time. That's right. We're diving in to see the Cambrian bros. Let's go check in with our Cambrian bo bros. Ooh, we got, um, wiggly sticks. Wow. That's my favorite. We got, uh, grabby, uh, swimmy bug. Ooh, he has a little, ooh, he's got a little tube. We got tube nose. We got tube nose multi-eye. Ooh, we got blumboid, uh, McLeggy. Wow, man, these Cabrian creatures are awesome. Look at this dude. He, is that his head or is this his head? Or are these his heads? Hmm. Ooh, trilobites. Okay, I fucking love trilobites, actually. Trilobites are fucking sick. All right, trilobites, you guys get to inherit the earth. So um, remember, guys, what we want to do is we want to um, we want to revert. We want to like increase the heat of the planet so that the only things that are living are like trilobites and um, leggy boys and this thing um, and this thing, this fucking weird shit, whatever that is. That thing looks creepy as hell. Ooh, a uh, uh, squiggly, squiggly dick bivalve thing. I love it. Ooh, this guy's got a big sack. I love it. Okay, let's go back to this. Everyone, this is what you get to be in the future. Everyone gets to be a brainless, um, like, uh, simple bottom feeder sucking up like shit and dirt off the floor. Yeah, this is this is the future. This is what we want to go back to. So remember that. Just remember. You know, this is Cambrian, and then this right here is a human. Like, I'm a human being. You know, I need to breathe oxygen and, and, uh, you know, things can't be really super hot because I don't live in the water, but you know, I don't know. I feel that we should make the planet. Remember, man, things were popping off. Fucking shit was lit in the Cambrian explosion. Don't we want to go back to that? You guys shit was lit. Let's look, let's listen to this again. Here we go. Shit was lit in the Cambrian explosion. That's what we're learning today. Been to modern life. These high temperatures and CO2 levels were essential for the creation of many major groups oh, of yeah, animals man. that still exist. Don't you ever wish you just... Don't you wish you could make America great again by going back to the Precambrian era? Mm, me too. Hey, ...that developed within the first 40 million years of this era. <gasps> oh, damn. Back hey, look, there's humans. Ago, ...during the Paleo-Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PETM, there was a large influx of CO2 and methane thrust into our atmosphere. Do you mean to tell me that we will have even more weird bugs if we go back to, to pre-Cambrian levels of CO2? Hmm. The CO2 levels doubled in a short period of time and temperatures rose 5 to 8 degrees Celsius. And it Damn. was much warmer then than it is today. This period has become a historical... Oh shit, I wonder what else could have changed between then and today. Uh, I don't know, maybe the planet isn't mostly covered in like, isn't like fucking have Pangea on it and shit. It's called a Morella? Oh, I love it. Morella friend. Friend. Morella friend. Focal point when trying to connect... Bring on the weird bugs. CO2. Me too. And Make me into one. I want to be a bloodborne monster. ...will try to argue that this happened over a much yeah. slower rate than what has happened. Me too, Gina. I want to see fucking shark, spider, lobster, squids. Fuck this shit. Today. Humans Any are boring. ...based on proxies from mud challenges this assumption. 
When they traced the oxygen Mud. and carbon isotope blips associated with this period, they found that they were contained in just 13 bands. Ice age baby. That the full PETM temperature Big baby was trying to warn us. You guys, big baby was trying to warn us. Look, you put it all together. You just need to connect the dots. Curious, curious how big baby is trending, but only a week before I come in to teach you about the truth about climate change. Big baby is trying to tell us that we need to, uh, big baby is trying to stop the ice age from coming. Big baby is trying to kill ice age baby from ever being born by preventing the second ice age. Holy shit. I knew it. I knew it. All I needed to do was put it all together. Give me them Cambrian gills. Hell yeah. Bam, you get gills. There you go. Surge came in just 13 years. You can have gills. That you get a gill. Today's one degree in the last 150 years. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely. Yeah, fuck lungs, am I right? Who needs those in the age of coronavirus? Just fucking get rid of them. Let's go back to having gills. Everybody just put yourself remember what we've learned from the cat today is that um uh you know remember um because CO2 is only in a small amount but CO2 makes life happen then water only in a small amount is also not going to be good for life so you should have water in a great amount we all need to go to the bottom of the ocean and develop gills to pr pr to prevent coronavirus that's the only way it's the only way there is nothing else that will be accepted only gill development at the bottom of the ocean Let's get on it. For this is that the PETM was triggered by a comet, which there's some evidence of. And while it suggested that most of this warming came from methane rather than CO2, this event was far from a negative occurrence. Pollen fossil records suggest that. Ah, yes. I too love it when most life on Earth is destroyed by an asteroid. This is not a negative occurrence. This increased temperature. This especially would definitely not be a negative occurrence if it crashed into a uh, world full of humans which can contemplate their existence, not mindless bugs of the fucking uh, Anthropocene or whatever, Cambrian period. ...and CO2 levels dramatically boosted biodiversity over a short period of time. It was these warm, humid conditions that allowed the earliest true primates to appear and flourish. This leads me to question the doomsday predictions if global temperatures go up another degree and a half. Yeah, who knows? Maybe if the temperatures go up another degree and, f and a half, we'll finally get monkeys, which we definitely don't already have. Damn, wouldn't it be cool if we had monkeys, guys? Wouldn't it be cool if we had fucking trilobites again? Oh, I miss those guys. Oh, I miss those trilobites. Periods closer to modern times that had temperature spikes were the Roman warming period and also the medieval warming period from about 900 to 1300 AD. Oh, and coincidence? Do you know what else was happening? During the Roman times, they were, um, there were, uh, they were giving out free bread in the Roman warm period. As you can see, uh, Roman communism created um, created this warming period and then the medieval warming period they raised the temperature by burning so many witches they burned so many witches that the earth got warmer it's this is science and there's plenty of evidence that this is fact that this was a global warming event as there were signs of both warming in the northern and southern hemispheres including glaciers in New Zealand during this period populations increased and Vikings colonized Greenland. There are stories of them sailing through the Arctic Ocean where there is permanent ice packs now. Crops flourished and wine grapes were grown as far north as England. I would really fucking love, I would really fucking love to send this cat to California where climate change has like desertified half the fucking state and it burns every single year for like four to five months out of the year now. Oh man, the grapes though. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if uh if just grapes, if you had grapes? England where growing grapes is not feasible today. Yeah, I know, right, right, girl. Are pretty indisputable. <gasps> this along with tree ring data from the southwestern United Holy shit. It's 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 fucking it's Elrond. Look at this. Elrond is writing the future. The written records are pretty indisputable. This along with tree ring data from the southwestern Thanks, United States. Thanks, Elrond. Look, they that... even have the fucking ring. Look, it's the ring from Lord of the Rings. They have the Lord of the Rings ring. It's this... Wait, this is Elrond. Thank you, Elrond. Western United States Thank suggests you. that it may have been upwards of one degree warmer than it is now. 
meaning not only did man survive in periods of extra warmth, he prospered during it. And like most warming ah, periods yes. throughout Born history, the this had nothing to, have to do nice with the rise lawn. of CO2. But what about Al Gore's movie, The Inconvenient- Oh my fucking god, Ho Holistic Field, I can't. You're probably right. Holy shit, do you think Hugo Weaving is also a pence? That both the character Elrond from the Lord of the Rings books was inspired by a Mike Pence clone when it was written by J.R.R. Tolkien? And also, then, um, Mike Pence Elrond was then played by another Mike Pence clone? I think this has to be true. It just feels true. Truth, where he shows a direct correlation between CO2 and temperature from an ice core sample. Well, the only inconvenient truth here is that Al Gore is a liar. You see? Yeah, Al Gore is the liar here. Al Gore intentionally reversed the data in order to swindle you into thinking that he's not a total idiot. Spoiler alert, he is. Several well, hey, at least he succeeded at swindling people into thinking that they're not a, that he's not a total idiot, unlike this cat. Major ice core surveys all show that there's... You're right. Yes, Zarel, see? 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 You're doing it. Connect the dots. Connect the dots, Zarel. All you have to do is look a little bit deeper. You're almost there. You are almost to the truth. You are almost there. Keep going. Keep the going. Keep digging. 600 to 800 year lag between temperature and CO2 increases. CO2 was the product of the heat here, not the initial cause of it. This lag is caused by the warming of oceans, which eventually causes CO2 and methane to be released into the atmosphere like fizz from your soda. Following <laughs> this logic- Haha, <laughs> soda go fizz. That's what this cat is doing right now. This cat is just going, haha, <laughs> oceans go fizz. You could argue that the steady increase of CO2 that has been slowly rising for almost 200 years could be influenced by the lag time from the medieval Oops. warming period, which ended I about 700 years bite. ago. We're also naturally experiencing a slight warming period since the end of the Little Ice Age ended around 1850. This factors into a natural rise in CO2 and temperature over the last century completely separate from human action. On the flip side, as temperatures decrease, it can hmm. trigger a- Weird. Um, weird how, uh, weird how- not only are we significantly higher, but the the spike is still fucking going up and it's projected to go way up. Almost like that's exactly what the fucking scientists are talking about. In action. On the flip side. Oh, obviously. Come on, Gina. What the fuck? That's everybody knew that one. Nobody even needed. You don't even need. You don't even need Crazy Cat here to, to fucking tell you that one. Everyone knows that one. As temperatures decrease, it can trigger events that cause Everyone the Earth that to one. rob the atmosphere of much-needed CO2. And there have been several examples in history where CO2 has Are they has accusing fallen. the Earth of stealing CO2? Is that what just happened? Did I just listen to that right? Decrease, it can trigger events that cause the Earth to rob the atmosphere of much-needed CO2. And there have been several examples- Rob the atmosphere? What do you mean? ...in history where CO2 has fallen to dangerous levels. If we look at ice core samples from the Antarctic, we know that during what? a- What? They're just not going to talk about that? What do you mean? What do you mean it's going to rob CO2 from the atmosphere? You just spent the entire thing saying that plants absorbing CO2 is what they're supposed to fucking do. Last this is genuinely incoherent. Thousand years ago, atmospheric CO2 concentrations descended close to 180 parts per million. Oh only man, this 30 is a hell of parts per million above the level required to sustain life. Within a single generation of exposure to low CO2, modern plants show an average reduction hey. in photosynthesis and- It's really, I think it's really, like, really cruel to, to expose these plants when all they're trying to do is get a nap. They're just trying to hide in their shells and, and take Biomass production of 50%, which directly impacts all other life on Earth. Even today, our current CO2 levels are a lean diet for most plants. Because most plants that exist today evolved during a time of high CO2 concentrations. The benefits of carbon dioxide supplementation on plant this growth This is and incoherent. So now she's arguing that we need the CO2 to be higher because the plants that we have now somehow are, are evolved from periods where there was more CO2? Well known, as hundreds of studies have shown that plants benefit from enriched atmospheric CO2 concentration. Again, literally making the bottom of the ocean argument. As we know, when humans are well hydrated, they do great. So there you go. Humans should live at the bottom of the ocean where they will be incredibly, incredibly hydrated and will grow big like this tree. 
Look, don't you want your humans to be big like this tree and not puny and small like this dumb tree over here? Yeah, look at that. S tiny tree, not exciting. Big tree. You want to do the same thing? You have to be at the bottom of the ocean. Only option. This has been easiest to study in a greenhouse Brando, environment. A plant We're increasing CO2 to 1,000 parts per million will actually increase photosynthesis by about 50% compared to regular ambient CO2 levels. Guys, get this, remember. So what happens- Not only is everyone lying, not only is not only is every single scientist in the world that literally climate change is as well accepted as the fucking, as, as fucking gravity. There is so much evidence of climate change. So not only are those people lying, but actually they're lying so bad that the world would be a better place if, if we boiled it, if we boiled ourselves to death. If we just keep cranking up the temperature, we're going to be, it's going to be so good. going to be big plants, humans, huge. You will be able to have big babies, big babies. It will be incredible. Imagine that. Look at, I'm, I am tall. I am tall. If you want to grow strong like me, you have to join me at the bottom of the ocean. You have to join me at the bottom of the ocean and help me increase and, and help me burn even more fossil fuels. And then we'll get to be big. Then when we'll get CO2 to be big and tall levels and in our atmosphere increase. Well, exactly what you would expect. Oh it wow, a that's a big plant. That... Look at lit. Look at this. Guys, this is unarguable. Look at this plant. It is so long. This plant longer than all the others. Boil the planet. Plant long. Not boil the planet. Plant small been observed in up to half of Earth's vegetated lands over the last 35 years. Oh, good. Thank you, Pur Purple Purple. Pur. Listen, that is the type of, of courage, courage that I've been looking for. Uh, I am glad that you have decided to make your home at the bottom of the ocean where you can be properly hydrated. It's incredible. And you also, According to you know what? Hey, there apparently is some internet signal at the bottom of the ocean. So there's that too. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Those fucking greedy ass trees robbing the atmosphere of CO2 fucking assholes we could be big boys we could all be big boys but the trees keep robbing it the trees keep sucking it up they drink our milkshake <laughs> they drink our co2 when you study it's estimated that 70 percent of this greening effect is caused by increased levels of co2 in the last century plants have been growing at a rate far faster than in any time in the last 54,000 years it's miracle grow and oh while my climate God. alarmists say that this won't last because oh temperatures rising will cause mass droughts and decrease water that plants need. Oh, oh, irate lump. Look at you, smarty pants, coming in here and pooping on the cat's theory. Oh, ooh, ooh, we can't eat bark. We can't eat big trees. Ooh, look at you, fancy science. You're so smart. You think you're so smart. You fucking think you're so smart saying we have to eat food and that we can't just eat the bark off of trees. <laughs> You can't just fucking suck up a slurry of 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 uh of like trilobite goo and 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 uh algae. <laughs> Look at you fucking elitist. You think we need to eat fucking food? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah, I've had enough. I've had enough of your elitism. Increased temperatures actually lead to increased precipitation. Also, more vegetation leads to more transpiration, which leads to more rainfall. More rainfall leads to more vegetation. Leads to more water, leads to us living underwater. We will be perfectly hydrated. Thank you. Exactly. I, I rate pine. I, I rate lump. I, I think that you're on the right path. Um, I had a pine cone in here at one point. I was going to say it's time for a snack, but I guess I'll just have to satisfy for my incredible amount of water. Here, let me just take a big, deep breath of my water. <coughs> I'm kidding. Aw, oh, shit. I actually spilled it on myself. Oh, fuck me, right? Ow. In the last decade, record-breaking rainfall events have Water. occurred in many places around the world. Water flow will... When they say record-breaking rainfall events, they mean also fucking flooding and the washing away of topsoil. You know, um, I know that this is, I know that we've been memeing a lot in here, but um, but when you say record rainfall events, that means like f the, the shit that's happening in like all of equ the equatorial world, all across the world in the equatorial world, there is fucking fl flooding like you can't even believe, like blowing fucking villages away, like washing away cities actually increase over the century this is why we're seeing a yeah right effect douglas in places that are normally too arid to promote that kind of growth 
It's estimated. And, and also we're seeing the aridification of places that once supported growth. That's what happens when you have mass climate change that gets hotter. Some areas that weren't previously temperate will become temperate, but many areas that were temperate and were used for growing will no longer be arable land. They will become deserts. There's this thing called the, um, 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 the dust bowl that happened. That by the end of the century, global biomass will have increased by 40%. And since we're also currently experiencing Correct, warmer Hubert. temperatures, Correct. this creates longer growing seasons and faster growth rates for plants. Longer growing seasons means more CO2 from the atmosphere will be metabolized by these plants, as seen in this NASA model when it turns from winter to spring. In fact, plants are converting 31% more carbon dioxide <sighs> into organic matter so than wait, they were- is NASA completely untrustworthy or is it not? That's the, oh, that's the thing I always get with, with fucking conspiracy theorists. They will always, they will simultaneously imply organizations like NASA are completely, f are, are, are part of the conspiracy that are lying to you. And then they will cite NASA to support their own fucking arguments. Before the industrial revolution. This means that we're getting far more food from each acre of land than we were a century ago. Yeah, but we're only getting corn. Corn and rice and nothing else. That's it. Look, the earth is doing fine. I can't- No, it isn't. I can't necessarily say the same for mankind, though. What- What is this again? In comparison, low CO2 levels this? during the little ice- What is this shit? In comparison- Is this like an in-meme? Do you have to fine. be a conservative, like, brain- Do you have to have the brain worm? The same. Is this what- Is this the thing? Is this like- you see this, and if you have the brain worm, the brain worm, like, squiggles and releases some serotonin into your body, and you go, yes. For mankind, I feel though. like that might be what this is. This is like a, uh, this is like a psychic check to make sure that the only people watching it have the brain worm. If you see this, it makes no sense to you, but if you have the brain worm, you know exactly what's going on. In comparison, low CO2 levels during the Little Ice Age from about 1300 to 18... That is actually really true. Gina Ragnos, the, the expansion of white-tailed deer tori has spread deadly diseases to moose populations. And also, um, there has been really, really fucked up, um, there has been really, really fucked up, um interbreeding of deer um that's on like a lot of people who own like like large areas of land will introduce deer populations like controlled deer populations so that they can hunt on their own land and then those deers um they will spread fucking um what are they called prion diseases prion or prion diseases like prion diseases in deer is really bad right now it's like really really bad and it's infecting other deer and of course the thing with prion diseases you can't get rid of them if you you can't get rid of them at all if a deer dies um and and gets eaten by the by a wolf or or a bear or rats or birds or anything they will uh have the prion disease in their body and then if a human eats that bird or that wolf or that whatever or even a cow like say like a cow catches the disease from um like eating grass that like a deer died on or pooped on or whatever a cow can get it and then we get the prion diseases eventually and the prion diseases accumulate in our brain and they make holes in our brain like literally this is real this is a i don't know if you've ever heard of um there was a fucking mad cow disease is a prion disease. We had a big problem with it like 20 years ago and they were able to control it. But this is, there are currently prion diseases spreading through deer population as a side effect of both um, like uh, cultivated forests and climate change. 50 were likely responsible for the bad harvest experienced in this time. As we know from the records kept by monks and winemakers, bad uh, harvest... Yes. Yes, those those purveyors of fine science, monks and winemakers. Incredible. Lead to starvation of millions of people, poverty and civil unrest. People are suffering. People are dying. Unlike what Greta is trying to What did I say about their weird fixation on on young girls? Propagate not only do more people starve during cold periods, a recent study showed that deaths from cold are about 21 times higher than those from heat. Are you fucking for real right now? Holy shit. More people freeze to death than people who, who overheat to death. Which means we should let the planet boil. Ho holy shit. 
Oh, oh my God. That might have just been the dumbest take I've ever heard in my entire life. Ho that actually hurt my brain. Just remember, guys, because more people die from freezing to death, uh, that is a relevant reason to consider just, you know, letting the, uh, uh, letting the planet rise. In fact, climate-related deaths have dropped from half a million per year in the 1920s to less than 25,000 per year in the last decade. I wonder. I wonder what could have, um, what could be the difference between 1920 and 2020. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it was, um, do you guys think it was, uh, it was, it was climate change that did this? Or, or do you think maybe it was the fact that, um, I don't know, we invented fucking computers and space flight and cars and, and weather prediction technology and boats and fucking submarines and nuclear power and helicopters? Do you think maybe that's the reason why there's more climate related deaths in 19 fucking 20 than 2020? This is genuinely ridiculous. And I don't know how much more of this I have in me. Heat waves have not increased. Drought and flood have not increased. Either. Yeah, right, mate, right, right, mate, Ray Murasami. Agreed. Let's, as we know, cold, because more people happen to die from frostbite and freezing to death, cold equals bad. Hot equals good. Sizzles equals sub, so to say. So what we want to do is, following this logic where hot equals good, we should definitely move to the surface of the sun or the bottom of the ocean. One of the two. One of the two. Have hurricanes or wildfires and tornadoes have decreased significantly since the 1950s. And how can this level of warming be so dangerous if it remains well below the natural temperatures of several prior hey, interglacial thank you for the follow. Periods? Much appreciated. We know from history that humans and the biosphere typically do better during warm periods with higher levels of CO2. So if it's actually true that humans can engineer and control global temperatures, why isn't anyone asked? Nobody said literally that was the weirdest slip. Listen to that. She, she's not even talking about what this video was about. Listen to this. Glacial Ready? periods. We know from history that humans and the biosphere typically do better during warm periods with higher levels of co2 yeah like the like the pre-cambrian or the cambrian explosion exactly lots of buggy boys lots of buggy so boys. so if it's actually true that humans can engineer and control global temperatures why isn't anyone asking what global temperature is up who said who said humans can engineer and control global temperature in fact isn't that the problem isn't it the problem that uh, it's it's our unf it's our lack of control that's fucking the climate and our inability to stop it that we're scared of. What the fuck is this cat talking about? Optimum. What if we're unknowingly helping the Earth reach a Goldilocks point by releasing CO2, where conditions are just right for our biosphere the way oh termites my, oh my did 300 million years ago? Yes, you heard it here, folks. We are we are unintentionally boiling the planet to make life perfect for Cambrian life. We are so fucking smart. We're so it's fucking ironically, smart. ironically, these so-called eco-warriors who are actually trying to impede that process. Yeah, well, eco-warriors. Wow, these people look really actually peaceful. They have a bunch of peace signs, and they say, laws of physics don't negotiate. Change the culture, not the climate. Okay, there what's, are causes what's from wrong with naturally these occurring emissions of CO2, like volcanic activity and termites, there's no evidence that large volumes of new CO2 have been added to the atmosphere That's not during the 140 not million year decline leading up to the present era. In fact, it's been steadily decreasing on a trend where <sighs> life could have extinguished itself in a short geological time from now. The cat literally showed the graph that disproves this point in this video. The cat literally showed the graph that disproves this point in the video. Had man not released really sunken carbon back into the air. Therefore, in the absence of human-caused emissions, it could reasonably be. Yes, this is this is really interesting. I'm sure. Let's use let's use the cat's own technique. Ah, yes. What a coincidence that we have fucking billions and millions and millions upon millions of gas of of fucking CO2 belching cars running back and forth constantly across stupid idiotly designed roads that clog our cities with smog isn't it interesting that the climate would be rising and getting worse and pollution would be getting worse once we introduce those cars hmm how curious the absence of human-caused emissions 
it could reasonably be presumed that CO2 levels would have continued to fall as they had done for the previous 140 million years. Which brings me to this important question. Ooh. How long would it have been in the absence of human-caused CO2 emissions until the gradual depletion of CO2 in the atmosphere fell well below- Who cares? Who fucking cares? We live in a world with humans in it. Why do you care about your fucking fantasy land? ...life-sustaining levels signaling the beginning of the end for all life on Earth. Good job. Thank you for watching. Good if job, cat. All right, so that's the cat. That this is the cat. This is the cat. I I I think I've lost my mind. Um man, that really was a gift. You know, who was that person who had, who recommended this person? Who was the one? Was it um what was their name? Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember what it was? Whoever that fucking person was who recommended this video? Railgunner? Yeah, something along that line. Railrunner or something? Yeah. Yeah, that was they were right. They were they they wanted me to do this. They they told me to review this one, the Made in China one, unironically. And so I did. And I was like, holy shit, what have I stumbled upon? Look at this shit. Holy shit, they have so many. Here, let me just this is the last thing I'm gonna say on them. We're just gonna go over some of these great fucking titles. Let's get down here. We got the celebrity cult and Clinton um connections with these weird fucking tattoos. We got the truth about Syria. We got Drain the Swamp, Cat News, The Storm is Here. Hmm. Hmm. The takedown of Alex Jones. Why this is a big issue. Uh, oh, man. They're whining about Tommy Robinson. <laughs> we got Cat News. Uh, oh, we got more count of this, this fucking uh, Nazi pug shit. Wow. They really don't have any originality, do they? They're just, and look, look, they're literally using the Nick Fuentes thing. They tried it for a while and they fucking failed. And now they're doing like Black Pigeon Speak stuff. Man, this is fucking fresh shit. God damn. Wow. Fuck. Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wizard's Bread Book. You, you missed the segment, but you should catch the VOD. I'm also going to put it up on YouTube later. Yeah, this is basically, um, this is like right-wing knock. It is, it is literally like, just like Creationist Cat. It's crazy. They make the same stupid arguments. Literally, this, the stuff that Creationist Cat make fun, makes fun of literally was just done in three of the videos that we watched. Um, unbelievable. Genuinely unbelievable. It's been fucking wild. Yeah, I gotta do more conspiracy stuff. This shit's crazy. I love this shit. How the fuck do they come to these conclusions? How do they exist in the world? Wouldn't you just be like... Like, I feel like I'm paranoid frequently. Aren't these people like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They've got a response to PewDiePie dropping the N-bomb. <sighs> Damn, I kind of want to, mm, damn, I kind of, mm, damn, god damn. Yeah, I know, I know. But it was, but see, the thing is, Gyrator Guff, like each one was so, so unique. It was so uniquely good. See, we watched the, uh, we watched the Made in China one, which was like, it tried to unironically pass itself off as like fact. I mean, this is called the truth factory after all. And then we watched, um, then we watched the one about Trump time machine, which was like, they wouldn't really tell you up front if they didn't actually believe it or not. They were like kind of doing the irony, like nose, like the mm -hmm thing. And then, yeah, yeah. And then we did the, uh, and then we did this one. Then we did the CEO two is greening the earth. Damn. This shit's crazy. Yeah. Sorry. But sometimes, you know, any videos about estrogen? Let's see. We can search. Let's see. Soy. Let's see if they got soy. Do they got any soy videos? Oh, damn. They don't. Huh. Hey, maybe they haven't Maybe they haven't taken the e-pill yet. Maybe they haven't taken the estrogen pill. Well, I think we've had enough of this cat. What do you say? M an Eminem response video. Uh-oh. Is that going to be super cringe? You want to do the NPC meme VOD? Oh, really? Do we really want to do the NPC meme? Oh, I don't know. It's eight minutes. It's so long. 
Uh, I don't know. What does chat feel like? Chat, you want me to go over the NPC video or should we move on to something else? I am almost at five hours, so I'm going to have to end the stream here pretty soon. We learned that Mike Pence is a time travel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's 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 do a quick chill summary of what we learned. And we'll take a look at our little friend here. This is our friend. So we learned that uh, Cambrian creatures are bros. We want them back. That's for sure. Um, we learned that uh, water is good for humans. Therefore, all water is good for humans. We learned that uh, we learned that China accidentally, but also intentionally, with the help of the WHO, created a virus and then um, released it on the world for fun. Um, what else did we learn? We learned that uh, it's actually oh yeah, it's actually a good thing to boil the planet. Um, oh yeah, we learned how to cook a nothing burger. Yeah, yeah, we learned we learned that the gingerbread man Mike Bloomberg cringe. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, we did learn that. Damn, we learned so much. I miss my Cambrian bros. <sighs> I'm just gonna stare at him wistfully for a little bit. That's enough. That's enough. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not that wistful anymore. Yeah, we learned so much. Look at our. Look at our spiky boy. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks, Truth Factory. Uh, that was a blast. That was a real blast. Was am I staring at his bum? Is that his butt? I thought that was it. I thought the other end was his butt. Is this his butt? Is this like a Garfield thing? Where is Garfield's anus? Where is Spiky Boy's anus located? Is it here? Or is it here? I don't know. Let's see. Uh here we go. Where's my memes? Here we go. Let's put this in the memes. Uh here, we'll put it right here. I've got an idea. Here we go. Watch this. Where's my, here's my gimp. Oh yeah, I got to save this shit. Where's my memes? Memes, here we go. Got to save this, uh, uh, let's see, funny meme, haha. -ha. And then we can reopen a new meme in the meme, um, where did, where did I put it? Where'd it go? What was it called? Is it one of these like fucking, I didn't call it Spiky Boy, did I? Where's Spiky Boy? Where the fuck is Spiky Boy? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Why don't I name it something? Why don't I be smarter and just name it something? What did I call it? It's 15 Dorling. I know what that is. I should have remembered that his name is the Dorling. 15 Dorling. Here we go. All right, here we go. So now we have to ask the real questions. The real questions. Here we go. We got to pick the red. Is it here? Or is it here? Anus. Which one? Is it? Is it there? Or is it there? Which one is it? Can we help? Can anybody help me? Can anybody help me determine where Spiky Boy's asshole is? Anus, that is the question. That's a pair of spikes. Oh, third row from the left. One, two, three. Oh, so it's here. So what you're telling me is it's this spot and this spot. This is where the poop comes from. Hmm. Man, he sure has a lot of feet. Do you think maybe do you think maybe the cat is a foot fetishist and that's why she, why she wants to go back to the um to the Cambrian era? Hmm. Ooh, Gina Ragnos, you're asking the real questions. Yeah, how would it wear pants? Would it wear pants like this? You know, that go around like this? Around each leg? You know? Or would it wear pants that go like this? Um, and then each one has a leg. And then they go like this, you know? And then this is the pant. There we go. And then let's see. I can maybe fill that in. Where's the fill tool? Where do I... Where does that thing go? Is it the stamp one? I don't fucking remember where these shits go. Where the fuck is the fill tool? I don't know where any of this shit is. I'm new to this shit. I don't remember where the damn fill tool is. Because I'm stupid. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, it could. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Maybe it doesn't like these because these are too restrictive. And maybe it just wears one skirt. And here's where the skirt wa waistband is, and the rest goes down like this. And then it goes... Wee, 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 wee. Oh, I missed its legs. Here we go. we got to go around like this. And it has little holes for the spikes, like this. See, and they poke out. Oh, man. This is super stylish. Cambrian styles, yo. I think that we have um, we have made an analysis that the conclusion of which can only be that humans are a waste of everyone's time and we should return to the incredible period of the Cambrian explosion. I want to become a Morella. Is that what this one is? Is this the Morella? Well, it seems like a good friend. I would hang out with this one, but I have a feeling that he might have a tr he might have trouble subscribing on Twitch. So I don't know if I'll be able to make a living doing Twitch videos um, in the the Cambrian past future. Oh, Cambrian Posadism! Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, yeah, I know. But see, I'm only a demon mama. I'm not even close to a Morella. I don't have any spikes. Or multiple legs. I only have two, as far as you know. To be fair, I don't think any of you have checked if I'm not a centaur or not. Um, nor will you ever. That will be the question that will be hidden from you forever. For all you know, just off camera, I actually have a horse body. My only space comrades are cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are cool. I like cuttlefish. They're, they're friends. Uh, you know, I was going to do a section about Joe Biden. But in comparison to all that shit that we saw, you know, it just doesn't seem like it's the right mood. So maybe another time. Ooh, what's this? Uh-oh. Did this, does this work or? Uh-oh. It seems like it might be bust. Um, maybe try a, maybe try a different one. Yeah, no, it wasn't going to be redacted discourse. I promise. It's, I don't even talk about that shit anymore. It's actually relevant, but I think I'm going to do it next stream because I am, um, I'm getting rather, uh, I'm getting rather tired and rather hungry and, uh, I need to go, um, consume enough burgers to explode my body because following the, um, following the logic that we learned today from definitely not creationist cat. Um, I learned that if a little bit of something is, is all right, then a lot of something is even better. So, you know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you may have seen this version. Um, this is us determining, um, yeah, we were determining where the anus was located on this creature, uh, much like how the ever long question about Garfield's anus. Um, and then also... Uh, we were drawing we were drawing what an outfit for this creature might look like and we determined that it would probably wear a skirt um, that wraps up here like the little waistband is up here and there's holes for the spikes oh glooby oh glooby welcome back the old fish this is not a fish excuse me this is a um, arthropod I believe anthropod arthropod I can't remember it's one of those two um but yeah we were trying to figure out where it was and also to determine you know I drew this extremely amazing um skirt arthropod yeah that's right let's look at this one Ooh, look at this guy this guy's got a fucking mustache holy shit he's got two mustaches holy shit look at this shit the takeaway from today is that if we cook the earth if we cook the earth alive, we will, uh, these guys will get to hang out on the planet instead of us. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, I don't know. These guys, these guys seem like they've got higher style than us, even though they run around on the bottom.